Welcome in this video. Today I tell you why your photography sucks. And of course, I don't say that your photography sucks, but I say that your photography sucks. <laughs> Just kidding. No, it's more about a global thing. Why photographers suck at photography, what mistakes they make. Yeah, it's a clickbait title, I know. But anyway, um, I want to talk honestly about this. And I don't want to say that you make a bad job or anything, but a lot of photographers say, Mm, I'm not satisfied with the photos I do and I don't like them and I don't feel like they are good or anything. So I just tell you, okay, your photos suck and I tell you why. So I tell you why. So number one, you don't take enough time. Enough time to photograph. What I experience a lot of times when I'm in crowded situations, on crowded places, maybe on sites or something when I'm traveling, people go there, they go out of their car, they take their phone or their camera, and they do like, let's go. <laughs> I've seen that, done that, done. <laughs> Off of the bucket list. And that's not photography, that's making a snapshot and that's okay but then your photography sucks because it's just a snapshot. There might be some over-talented people out there who might get a great shot from a snapshot, but most of the people don't. So what I can recommend you is go out, take your time. What I do when I photograph landscapes, I sit there, I walk around and I just take a look at the spot. I'm very early there, earlier than I want to take the photo and then when the light and everything is good, I take the photo and I know the place because I walked around. I took some time and when I, take the image actually, I take time to take the image. A lot of times I do long exposures and that's good because when you have 30 seconds time to think about the image you're doing because that long the image takes to um, develop, then it's good because uh, yeah, you think about it and you take your time. I think you understand what I mean. So number two is you put your technique and your equipment over light and composition. And that's a huge mistake and that will make your photography suck because the most important thing in photography is light. I made a whole video of this, check the video out, I put it in the description about the most important thing in photography and next to the light I would say is the composition. And when light and composition are good, it does not matter if it's an iPhone, a Huawei, a Sony, a Canon, Nikon, Pentax, whatever camera, it does not matter because everything is great already, you just have to press the button because it looks great and when composition is clean and great, everything is done. So first look for the light that you are outside or you have the right light you use. We right now, for example, film with the setting sun. It's only available light in this situation. And we waited for this moment because during day it was too high with the sun. So we would have very hard shades in the face. And then composition. This video is not a great example for composition, but there's kind of a composition. So take a look for those two things and it will make you a better photographer. And number three, quantity over quality. And uh, that's what you maybe experienced in the past as well. You went to a spot and you said, oh, I want to take today 50 images, 50 great images, because I need 50, because 50 days of Instagram challenge or something. <laughs> and that's bullshit because one great image per day, I usually say is good. When you're lucky, you have two great images per day, but that's totally enough for me. So pull down your Erwartungen. Expectations. Expectations. Make them lower and put the quality, the composition, wait for the right light. Think about the shot before you take the shot. That's what photography actually is about. It's not about making 50 great images. How long does it take to edit 50 images or something and upload them? It's too much time, don't do it. So one image per day is pretty good. And that's what I tell people on my workshops when I do landscape workshops or journeys in other countries with other people. I tell them all the time, I say, man, relax. Take one great image per day. And if it's not today, maybe tomorrow you take two great images. But how much images do you need when you go on a trip to somewhere? Five great images are totally okay. If you shoot one great image per month, you can do a calendar out of this. Only one per month. So take some speed out, take some expectation out and take photos that don't suck.
quick commercial if you are interested in learning more about photography about filmmaking about how to edit photos and all this stuff so the essentials um, check out learnfromben.com this is my website there you find download courses and you can download them on computer then watch and it's better than youtube even because it's longer and better and more quality and stuff so check it out learnfromben.com if you like the video you will love learnfromben.com see you on the next video give me your opinion on that topic and in the comments of course and give thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already i see you in the next video and i really look forward we plan to make very good videos this year i drank too much coffee i think